Hey there everybody and welcome to another Hell House Bird Reviews. It's your boy Deluxe. How you doing? Alright, and what we got coming up is um, my top five and my top five. Not anybody else, it's just mine. You know, so it's just my opinion so you don't have to agree but, you know, sorry. Anyways, um, and of uh, best and worst of 2016 and my thoughts of 2016 and um, what I got coming up for 2017. So yeah, um, so up first is going to be my top five uh, worst, uh, and you know, deluxe. But what can you? You can't really say that because Hasbro doesn't have any bad Transformers. No, just kidding. Anyways, um, yeah, these are five of the ones that I didn't you know really care for you know in particular. But and like I said, these are my opinion. So let's go with that. So anyways, what we got first up for number five is what do you got? Combiner Wars Scatter Shot. Um, Combiner Wars in a whole was a disappointment. There was a couple good ones, and um, actually one of them made my top five uh, best. But uh, this one, uh, I mean, I, it was silly, you know, the Cyclonus repaint, and they didn't even use it for the uh, Computron. I guess you can use it for Computron, but they gave us another scatter shot, and I, said, I don't know. It was just a waste of, you know, just a money grab for Hasbro, and um, I just thought, it, you know, it was really unnecessary. But, you know, uh, it's a decent mold I guess but not really uh, I don't know it's kind of hard to explain you know but um yeah I thought that was just too much so yeah Scattershot is my number five uh, combined horse and he just took a dove all right all right coming in number four is combined wars Skylinks um had a real really high hopes on Skylinks I, I've always I want to I want to Skylinks you know from G1 or different you know not other than G1 and I thought this was going to be it, but nope. They made him into a Voyager. I mean, I, maybe Deluxe. He's not really big. And he doesn't separate or anything. So, really, really disappointed with uh, this. Um, and I'm missing a weapon. I think it's down on the floor somewhere. Oh, well. Anyways, yeah. I mean, in the, you know, the hollowness, the wafflingness with the Combiner Wars that everybody's, you know, on Titan Returns and all that stuff. But anyways... Uh, really disappointed that uh, this was so small. I wish they had a. The, if they would have made this big, uh, bigger, uh, they would have had a gold mine right there. That would have probably knocked it out of the park. But they didn't. And we got this hard to find, but for some reason they didn't put out a lot. But still, still a disappointment. So number number four is uh, Commander War Skylings. And coming up number three is R.I.D. Quillfire. Um, just didn't like, I don't like the robot mode, it looks kind of goofy, uh, the, the ball joints are real loose and they come, see, I mean, that's not, you know, his fault, but, you know, his manufacturer, but, um, yeah, I'm going to put the arm down. Um, I, I just didn't, I, I like the RD line, the deluxe lines, I had some good ones, um, they're not in my top five, but there's some, there's some, there's some decent molds in there, um, but, um, this was... I'm gonna have to do that later. Golly. Anyways, number number three is Quillfire for a reason. So, all right, my number two is uh, Titan Returns Stripes and just this mold. Thus, all I do have rewind. I don't know where he's at. Somewhere, maybe put him up or something. I don't know. Um, the, the data disc or not data disc, but I don't know. Zooms. <sighs> uh, this is bad. Uh, this was just bad. I didn't. Not really particular. I love the Titan Titan Return line, but um, this was just. I don't know. Wasn't that good? This is supposed to be, um, I don't know who this is supposed to be. It's, it's I think, uh, uh, Ravage is remote or repainted into this, but I don't know. And then Buzzsaw, I don't know. It's just not a good mold. Um, I know it's a legend class, but it's just not really a good mold. So I picked them as my number two. So, you know. All right. And my number one is these RID Deployer Deplorables. I don't know, Hillary Clinton stuff. Um, yeah, the, the Minicons were pretty cool. They're a little tubby. I mean, they're all right, you know, for what they are. And you can add on little weapons or anything. But these are just garbage. I couldn't. This won't even stay in. Yeah, I mean, it launches out. No really articulation at all. Just, you know, just that and a little bit of this. But. Yeah, they were pretty pretty crappy. I, I was kind of just early disappointed when I bought these. So, this is my number one disappointment of the year. Uh, these are ID uh, deploy, deployers or something. I don't know. Anyways, so, yep, there you go. Huh. 
All right, before we move along, um, for my top five uh, best, I think, of highest pro on Takara, um, I wanted honorable mentions was um, R.I.D. Um, I love the uh, Thunderhoof or the Moose Moose tracks, and um, I also like the um, uh, Bisque. Uh, I didn't I didn't get them out. Sorry about that, but I just want to give my own mentions. Really good for that line. Uh, I love the transformations and they're, they're good figures and everything. And I want to give our mission to um, Titan Returns. Big step up from what we got from Combined Wars. Um, none of them really made in my top five because uh, Masterpiece, you know, kind of trumps over them. But as a whole, 95% uh, of the line is really, really good in my opinion. Um, really, uh, you know, the playable factor and the affordable, you know, they're affordable to, you know, to a certain extent. Um, I really like them. And I, I, I'm glad that somebody was, you know, in Hasbro that, you know, actually um, knew what they was doing, you know, and, and actually likes Transformers. So you can tell a little bit that it's a big step ahead of what Combiner Wars was. So big shout out to uh, Titan Return. So, okay, coming in at number five is going to be Grand Galvatron. Uh, this is the United Warriors uh, Takara version of uh, you know uh, Galvatronus. Um, you have Cyclonus uh, recolor, which is really good. Rook. You got Break uh, Breakdown. Clear Star Scream, which is one of the main reasons why I got them. And you got Armada Thrust. Thrust. The reason why they're in my top five is because I love the background of it, uh, all tying into Galvatron. I mean, I'm sorry, Unicron, and everything you know with Star Scream and all this stuff and. All that stuff. It, it it's really cool. Did I say Rook. I'm sorry. That's Roller. Sorry about that. Love Roller. Really good paint on him. A lot of paint and everything. I love the clear star screen. That's not. It's the remold of Rook. But anyways, um, love this set. Um, once again, it combined is not really good. It looks kind of goofy. But I just love the backstory of it. It's really cool, and that makes it. I think a lot of times the backstory of a Transformer really makes it cool you know, Transformer, you know, or a figure or something like that. So this is my number five as best uh, and everything. So, yeah. All right. Coming in at number four, Masterpiece Shockwave. Mm, bunch of haters out there hated this guy. I love him. Look straight off the cartoon, he looks perfect to me. Um, a little small, but I, you know, that, that doesn't matter. He's a Masterpiece. I love the transformation. Everything about him is uh, awesome. He looks good. Um, a little dusty. I'm gonna dust him off a little bit, but um, yeah, I, I love this guy. Um, couldn't ask for a better masterpiece shockwave. Well, I guess you could, but not to me. I, I really like him. He's a really good uh, shockwave. So he's my number four, uh, the purple nurple. He's awesome. All right. And coming in number three, a little hate for this guy too. Masterpiece Ironhide. Mm. But brown! Yeah, this guy. Oh, love him. The paint, the materials, just the way he feels. I mean, a good weight to him, you know. A lot of people didn't like the side thing. Don't bother me at all. The butt tires. Uh, the only of the wall sees that, so it doesn't matter when he just stands there by, you know, with other masterpieces. Oh, it's brilliant. Uh, transformation is sweet. Uh, I love transforming this guy, him and Ratchet. Um, which one? Ratchet should have made it at the top, but he didn't. But anyways, Ironhide is really good. Um, straight off the cartoon, I think. Um, to me, a little bit. Uh, chest is a little bit, you know, off, but everything else just is really good. Uh, and he's a good, he good stuff. Um, shout out to Bob and uh, Tackle Shop. They gave me first dibs at the drill bit. That was awesome. So yeah, number three is Chip. I don't, whatever, uh, MP Ironhide. All right, coming in number two, MP Inferno. Once again, straight off the cartoon, looks brilliant, looks great. Paint is awesome, materials, uh, good, good transfer, awesome transformation also again. I um, haven't transformed this guy back. I'm going to do a review on him eventually sometime. Uh, but yeah, I love the, the stowaway of the ladder. That's genius. It's awesome. Um, he looks, you know, straight out of the cartoon. Uh, he he almost was number no my num, uh, my number one. Um, he could be number one, uh, but I, I, I the one that I have is it's still awesome too. But this guy is almost perfect, so I like him, I like him a lot. So yeah, he was my number two, and uh, yeah, we'll get to my number one. And ta-da! Here's my number one, masterpiece Optimus Primal. Oh. He just, 
I, I don't know what to say. You know, it's just he's he's beautiful. Um, he's everything I think a primal needs to be. He's awesome. Um, great color. Uh, great uh, paint on him is good. The transformation is neat. You know, it's simple and neat. But you know, stuff he does is is masterpiece. You know, and or masterpiece. -y, you know, and um, I just love him. The head sculpt is awesome. The things he comes with, that little uh, banana box, was awesome. Um, just he's just a great figure, and um, he is going to be my he is my number one uh, transformer for Hasbro and Takara for uh, 2016. So yeah, so yeah, there you go. I'll just leave him up here while I'm talking. So anyways, um, so that's my top five for best and worst. Um, hope you liked them. Um, if you didn't, I'm sorry. Just tell me your best, <clears throat> your top five that you like and you like don't like, and you know. We can go from there. Uh, I just want to say thank you for uh, to everybody uh, that made 2016 an awesome year. Uh, everybody at TFCon that I got to see, um, all the people that noticed me, you know, and, and those and likes my work and everything, and those that I'm on Shattercast Uncut and everything. And I just want to say thank you to all those. I want to thank, say thank you very much to Shattercast Uncut, um, the guys there. You got uh, Greg from Mercy, Lenny Decepticon. You got uh, Bobby Skullface. You got Justin T2RX6, and you got Robert D, uh, the lawyer. So I just want, I love y'all guys like a um, stepbrother, <laughs> or step, I love y'all like brothers, y'all know that. So anyways, um, big shout out to them, you know, and we got a lot of stuff coming up uh, this year. We've been together three years, yay. And um, so yeah, um, just want to say thank you for everything that y'all, my, you know, my people that watch my stuff I, you know I, I like that y'all like my stuff sometimes you know that's cool everything um 2017 i may change it up i'm gonna do some reviews definitely uh but i may go on toy hunts um i may do rants who knows you know who wants to do our question and answers if anybody wants to answer you know ask me questions i'll definitely sit there and ask them and everything so yeah um so that's what i got for 2017 um as always um hell hasbro hell transformers um and uh good night folks Good night, folks. Er, apes. Family. Okay. All right. Goodbye, y'all.